guys, Dr. Bless here. Today is a very special episode because we're starting a new series where we will be interviewing and spending a day in the life with different doctors of different fields. In this case, we're gonna spend a day in the life with a gynecologist. I hope that it will give you lots of value, that you will learn a lot, and yeah, let's go meet our doctor today. Be blessed. Hola, soy Dr. Robles, soy médico ginecólogo. Nací en Simbal, un pueblecito muy pintoresco que está al norte del Perú. En los años 80, vine a Barcelona interesado en conocer nuevas técnicas diagnósticas y quirúrgicas, como eran en esos tiempos la ecografía, la laparoscopia y la fertilización in vitro. Venga, vamos, te voy a enseñar la clínica ahora. ¿eh? Let's go. Dr. Robles was supposed to stay in Spain for only one year. But in the 90s, he ended up establishing his own clinics, which provide health services to men and women. And his clinics are specialized in gynecology, urology, and reproductive health. So, why did you want to become a doctor? Aparte de vocacional, creo que vine codificado, porque desde siempre, cuando era niño, ya me decían doctor Robles y yo no entendía por qué. ¿En serio? En serio, en serio. Pero yo sí lo tenía claro, ¿eh? Hmm. Pero de doctor Robles no. <risa> so why gynecology? Eh, aparte de ser una especialidad clínico quirúrgico, respeto y adoro a la mujer por su condición de poder ser madre, porque yo he sido primero hijo y siempre he sentido el deber de poder ayudar o de cuidar a su salud física y mental. Me siento plenamente identificado con las necesidades que tiene la mujer. So, what type of patients do you see? Atendemos a mujeres en todas las fases de su edad cronológica de su vida. Mujeres en edad puber, mujeres en edad reproductiva, mujeres en edad premenopáusica y mujeres en edad menopáusica. Okay guys, so I got the opportunity to talk with another doctor and it's gonna be a very interesting talk. This is him. Hello. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's learn about him and let's see what he does. Hello guys, I'm Dr. Robles. I'm gonna remove the mask for uh, the video purposes. <laughs> um, I'm in charge of cosmetic gynecology and surgical cosmetic procedures here at Centro Medico Aragón. I'm gonna show you what we do and what I have been doing for the last six years at this clinic. Amazing! So, what is cosmetic gynecology? This is a new brand of gynecology that has been around for the last 10 years in which um, procedures that normally were performed under surgery they're, they're being done under laser, laser-based energy. For example, labiaplasty, which is the reduction of the length of the labia minora. Vaginal rejuvenation, which is a combination of various procedures, um, for it, such as the tightening of the vagina canal, perineoplasty, labiaplasty, labia majoraplasty, and uh, hemen reconstruction. Everything, all of this has, is doing now with laser-based instruments, uh, which um, are, is an advantage because there is less recovery time, virtually painless, and performed under local anesthesia. So, um, in, the, in the area of gynico, um, cosmetic gynecology, um, we have the patients that would like to um, give harmony to the genital structures, to be, be more confident in their, in their private lives. Okay, so I think we all want to know, uh, why would women want to go through these procedures? Okay, so the most common reason is because of aesthetics okay they want a, a particular part of, of the genitalia they want it um, refreshed tightened slicker smoother 
they want to, to change this, this part. Sometimes this, um, this part it's also causing functional problems. Mm. Okay, for example, too long of a labia minora, okay, for young women, it's uncomfortable for them. For example, the, the lady that has had two child, big child, yeah. you know, the, the structures inside, okay, they get relaxed and they, they want to feel tightened, like when they were 18, for example, mm. okay? Sometimes people want to get remarried and they want to have a, a reconstruction of the hymen. Sometimes they want just to have the genital area wider, okay? Mm -hmm. Sometimes they want, uh, um, they want to have some, um, some fat injected there or some acid hyaluronic, so they are they, are, they, they have a younger look. Yeah. Okay. I think the most the the, the most uh, common reason would be aesthetics. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, doctor. So, um, what are the values that a gynecologist should have very close to their hearts? In gynecology or aesthetic gynecology, um, the three values we value most are privacy and confidentiality, to be empathic and uh, supportive, and non judgmental can you explain a bit um, on them? Yes, uh, for example, when a patient calls a clinic, any clinic, the, the person answering the phone has to be able to answer all the questions in a supportive manner and be for the patient, okay? Uh, anything at all, prices, the doctors, um, the timings, everything, okay? Then once in the, once in the clinic, during the medical consult, the doctor is, has to be able to explain everything in great detail and uh, in a manner that the patient understands, okay? Mm -hmm. Make the patient feel involved in the decision making of the process, okay? Also, every, everybody working in the clinic needs to gain the trust of the patient so the patient trusts the people that are going to take care of. Afterwards is the surgery. The surgery is the most easy this is the easier part of the, of the patient pathway because uh, we know what to do, okay? But after the surgery, it's very important to explain to the patient what she should expect after the surgery. We, we say this at the post, what to do in the case an emergency happens, mm -hmm. you know? Or when are the controls, the control visits set up for him or her? And uh, with all of this, the patient feels like uh, it's worth it to have come to this clinic because uh, um, she is satisfied, right? So it's very important to give the patient all the information after the surgery, yeah, right? Uh, exactly, yes. A patient well informed is a patient that is happy. such an honor spending the day with this doctor today. He taught me so much about gynecology and it's been amazing. Thank you so much, doctor. Encantado, de nada. So, before I leave, I wanted him to advise any of you who is studying medicine right now or any student in general. Can you give an advice for any medicine? Yeah, okay. Espera. Decirles que el ser humano está capacitado para hacer todo lo que se proponga, pero Hay que empezar. Cuando tengas algo que hacer, mientras más pronto lo hagas, es mejor. Por si tengas que hacer otra vez, puedas empezar de nuevo y volver a hacer y hacer y rehacer. Consejo importante para los jóvenes que estudian medicina es decirles que tengan paciencia, que de la manera como intentan ayudar o intentan tratar es la manera como quisieran a ustedes que los traten o que les ayuden. Que tengan suerte. Wow. Let's go. Bye. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Wow. Today, we're gonna be a day in the life with a gynecologist.